Reviews. We are back again with another video and guys it was all American Day today was episode 11 and by the way I'm sorry guys that I wasn't able to post the episode of my episode review earlier um, My sister's in town, you know, she actually she uh, has come back from Michigan So, you know me and her were hanging out for the past two days. She's gonna be here the entire week So if I have any other videos that you know uh, are supposed to be coming out this week I'm gonna try to get them out for you guys as quick as possible So as of right now the time is is 105 and I just got done watching it and guys, this was a very intense episode. Literally, I was crying at the end. Like, I was tearing up, man. Like, this episode just... I, I wasn't prepared for prepared for what we were going into. And pretty much the episode starts out with, you know, with a whole bunch of different things. But, you know, it starts out with Olivia. And she's doing her podcast. And, you know, she was talking about how she doesn't like labels. You know, she had the label of the twin. She had the label of, you know... Of the of the drug addict and you know she, uh, and you know she has and she had the well a, a, as an addict and she had a label as of course you know uh what, what is it uh, I guess you know the DA's daughter now and I feel like you know we we're hearing a lot of that more in this episode of you know people calling her the DA's daughter you know Mo called her the DA's daughter when you know when we went to Tamika's you know uh you know uh to her visual and you know and just you know she just can't you know she can't outrun it and pretty much you know she is feeling guilty because when we see you know uh you know her with her uh, her with her sponsor nurse joy um you know we see more how if you know she is so focused on this and she's focused on the fact that you know if she was you know if she was uh, you know just as dark as tamia or you know if she wasn't the da's daughter that could have been her and she feels guilty on what happened to you know tamika and that was just you know really you know sad to see that you know she that, you know, she, you know, that we live in this society where that, you know, that's a possibility, which is terrible of, you know, if you're darker, you know, there's more of a chance you could get killed by the police. If, you know, if you're, you know, if, if you have connection into something, you might not get killed by the police. You know, people, people of color should not have to worry about this problem. And the fact that, you know, that's a, just the fact of, I guess, how it is, is just, it's fucked up. And I, I, I really, really cannot stand how literally that's how it is. And it's just, it, it's really messed up. And that's pretty much the whole basis of the story is, you know, that, you know, that's how Olivia felt guilty of, you know, that, you know, that could have been me. You know, I drove, you know, even though I saw the police, you know, sirens, you know, I, and, you know, um, and, you know, the only reason I got out of it is, you know, the, cause the, I said, you know, um, they knew I was the DA's daughter and they asked to drive me home, but they, that wasn't the way it was for Tamika. And she feels guilty of that. And, you know, Spence is trying to tell her, you know, don't feel guilty. You shouldn't have to feel guilty for that. You know, it's not your fault, you know. It's not, you know, it, it's, it's, you know, the police fault. It's the way that the way they work and seeing how this is all coming about. And, you know, this is like, the, we're getting into like the heavy stuff of, you know, the, the realization of this is how it is as a black person in America. This is literally how it is. And we're really getting into the, I feel like we're getting into this stuff right now. We're getting into, you know, you know, the, which, you know, the, as everybody said, you know, all the writers that we were going to get into stuff like this, you know, of the Black Lives Matter movement, uh, like really get into this stuff. And that's what we're really getting into this year and of this of the show. And it's just it's it was a hard it was hard literally when, you know, at the, you know, the death of George Floyd and everything, you know, that was really hard for me. You know, I, I, I cut ties with my, you know, people I thought were my friends because, you know, they just. I, I found out, you know, truths about, you know, my friends that, you know, I didn't know before, you know, I, I found out a lot of harsh truths, but they needed to come out, you know, and, you know, if it wasn't for George Floyd, you know, it's, it's sad because, you know, if it wasn't for him, you know, dying and shit, I probably wouldn't have seen the way my friends were actually who they actually were. And that's sad to, you know, it's sad and it's sad, you know, without, you know, George Floyd's death, we wouldn't have gotten the movement that we got it's crazy to me it takes someone it takes someone's death to really spark things something up and that's it, it's sad to me that you know it took that to really in a way spark a movement and you know i just i hope you know his death isn't in vain i you know i'm happy the man's in prison that guy's an ass i can't believe he did that i still can't get over you know these corrupt cops just just do what they do and it, it, the people that are meant to serve and protect us just just ruin, I can't believe, just ruin the name of, you know, at least the good cops that are trying to help out and trying to do the right thing. And these corrupt cops just ruin it. 
and I just, I just can't stand it. I hope, you know, this is a big step, you know, since the man is put away in prison that, you know, I mean, he should have been put away in prison right away, but I'm hoping that, you know, this is a big step for us, things to actually, great things to happen going forward, I, at least I hope so. Um, but, you know, she feels guilty of that, Olivia. And, you know, the fact of this is that Laura is actually working with the people on the other end, working with, you know, the, you know, the police department and hiding the footage of Tamika and what really happened. That made me pissed to shit. And I'm happy that Olivia, you know, getting straight to the point, you know, she actually ends up leaking the footage. And right when I knew when she was walking downstairs to go do that, I'm like, oh, shit, this is going to be big. Like, there's going to be big consequences to like what she's gonna do and I'm, I'm happy that you know she did it you know i'm shocked that out of everybody you know olivia did it you know because i wouldn't expect you know when we first meet olivia back in season one that she would have done something like this but she's made so much growth and she's fighting you know for the right cause and you know and fighting for the right reason i'm happy she's willing to do that but i'm 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 interested to see what that's going to do with, you know, uh, Laura's job. And I just don't really, I didn't really like Laura in this episode when, you know, she's getting on Jordan for him getting married and she's not okay with it. But, you know, you know, he, she's not thinking of it. Yeah, he's young in a way, but it's true love in a sense. And you need to understand where your son's coming from and how he thinks, you know, he, you know, he, he knows he loves her and he wants to be with her. And I feel like, you know, she should have listened more and Bill, and, and Billy was right saying, you know, you need to like, he needs to focus, you need to help him focus on, reco on you know, him recovering and, you know, not this because, you know, because I don't know, just seeing Jordan on the couch made me sad how, you know, but he needed to get up. And, you know, Jordan pissed me off also when we see um, him telling pretty much JJ, oh, you know, you better uh, not, you know, you better stop focusing on me and start focusing on the fact that you're QB1 now. And, you know, and, and, you know, and, and not being garbage in the next game we have. And I was like, damn, bro, you're a piece of crap for that. I understand you're upset. But the fact you're going after JJ like that when you hear he's coming in here trying to make you happy and so is Asher and yet you're getting and you're yelling at them pretty much and I love how you know pretty much you know he's playing injustice and you know Olivia goes to check on him earlier he's like what else am I supposed to do then you know this is the only thing that makes me happy right now playing this game you know what I mean and I'm happy JJ went in there took his Xbox Series X and said fuck your shit bro you know you're gonna um if you wanna want the game you're gonna go and you know meet me on the field with me and Asher and I'm happy though know, that was pretty much you know. That wasn't what got him out of the bed, but, you know, that was the what, you know, put him in the sense that you need to get your shit together. And I'm happy because, you know, Spencer talked to him, you know, to get his shit together. And, you know, and I feel like, you know, that's when you realize, you know, I got to go say sorry, you know, you know, because, you know, you know, you know, it was a whole bunch about celebrating because, you know, Spencer had an offer, you know, to play for Texas. And, you know, he, you know, they're only interested in the whole bad boy aspect of Spencer, apparently. They think that, oh, since you got shot, you know, you're a bad boy now, you're you're with gangs now. And, you know, the and the fact of this is that I'm happy Spencer, you know, you know, Coop sent the video for, you know, that really put, you know, made Spencer think of, you know, who I am, you know, like, that's not who I am. To, you know, yeah, I want to, you know, be, uh, you know. I want to, you know, have a full ride scholarship, but not in this way. I, I'm if it if it's jeopardizing who I am, and see Coop, you know, even though you know Coop and them aren't friends right now, you know, she still cares for him, and to see, you know, she made that video to really tell Spence, you know, don't, yeah, you got one recruiter now, but it's not for who you actually are, and how he tells, I love how he tells the coach, you know, of you know of Texas, you know, if you want me, you want you gotta have me for me. Not me trying to do this. You're not going to do this whole bad boy, turn me into a whole bad boy thing or have me, oh, because I got shot and stuff. Like, I am who I am. The person that took the bullet for my friend, the person that, you know, is always there for people and is going to give it their all. That's me. And if you don't want me for me, then I don't want the, I don't want the scholarship at all. And I'm happy he told the coach that. And that, you know, that really, that, that really made me respect Spencer. You know, he always has those, you know, moments of, you know, of, you know, those triumphant moments, and I really love the character for that, how, you know, he always is the one that inspires people, he really inspires people, and I'm really happy, you know, he stuck up for himself, and yeah, he wanted to be, you know, you know, he wanted to have, you know, a scholarship, but he said, you know, not if it means jeopardizing who I am as a person, I'm really happy, that's a good message to even put out to, you know, the viewers, that you should, yeah, if you might, if you want something, if, if it means changing yourself for it, you shouldn't do it, and I'm really happy they, they, they went deep into that. And I'm just really happy they went in deep into the whole, you know, pretty much, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement and, you know, and just the, the, the just the, the, you know, just all the crap that's been going on for years. And I'm just happy they're really getting into it and they're really, and just, you know, it needs to be talked about this, you know, everything that's been going on, you know, and, and I'm happy that, you know, 
there's, you know, it's not just this show that's talking about, you know, you know, just, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement and everything and just how, yeah, and I'm just happy that, you know, other shows are doing it. Like, you know, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, how they're getting into, you know, why can't there be a black Captain America and all that. I'm happy they're getting into that. And now we have a black Captain America and, you know, and, but even then it's like, it's just Captain America. And I'm happy they get into that. Like, oh, back in the day in the comic books, it'd be like, oh, um, it would be, you know, uh, like, I don't know, like Black Panther, you know, or, or all these other things. Why can't it just be, you know, all these other things? So I'm happy that they're getting into, that they got into stuff like that. And so why is, why does there have to be, you know, you know, color mentioned in a name? Why can't it just be what it is, like Captain America? And I love how it's no longer the Falcon and the, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. It's, you know, it's Captain America and the Winter Soldier. So I really love that. So, you know, I'm just happy that shows are out here, you know, speaking, you know, the, you know, the truth of how it is, just how it is. For, you know, black people in America, I'm just happy they're doing it and not tiptoeing around the problem. It's a problem in America and it's still a problem. And me as a black man, you know, I'm I, I half, you know, black, half white, you know, man, it's it, it's it's scary for even me to, you know, to even, you know, walk down the street or whatever, do whatever. And and it's it's, it's a scary factor of, you know, I, I'm I have to really be careful what I do. And, and you, you should I shouldn't have to feel that way. If, you know, you know, you know, being having to be super careful when I'm walking down the street of, you know, you know, how police might seem something is going on. So, you know, I just it's 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 a fuck situation. I just I'm just happy that show is talking about it. And, and I just I'm just really excited to see what what's going to happen in the next episode because she leaked the footage, you know, you know, Olivia. And that was just a, a sad moment hearing that footage. It was just as sad hearing the, you know, seeing the footage and hearing the footage of George Floyd. I just, it made me so angry, guys. And, and, and as it should make everybody angry, but it made me angry. I was so furious. Like, I, I, I you know, it's just, uh, yeah, uh, it, it made me super angry. And just getting into everything, though, you know, what, yeah, which is pretty much, you know, at the end of this episode, you know, of course, you know, Jordan says sorry to JJ and a and Asher. And, you know, he says, you know, if you're going to, you have to work on that spiral. If you're going to do this, I'm, uh, I'm going to help you guys, you know, get to the championship on the sidelines and everything. And, and he's going to, you know, give it, you know, it's not just, you know, he's kind of coming to terms. It's not just, you know, football, you know, that doesn't mean your life is over. And he was talking to Spencer about that, you know, when you, you, when your arm was injured, you know, like, and what did you do? Like, like, how did you not like, like, cause you know, you loved football. Like, how did you move past it and he's like you know you take it day by day you know you know you have to realize that's not the only thing you have to offer in your life and and that was cool to see them talk about that and you know that dynamic of you know it isn't it's you know it might seem like you know that's all you have but you know you have a, a world of things to you know to give to the world and offer and a lot of, and the other dreams you can you can achieve and you can do and I'm just I'm, I hope we get to see more of that Jordan you know helping out the team you know even though he can't play in the in, in the game and maybe he can make a comeback who knows I'm just, you know, I'm curious to know where this, where the next episode is going to go and where the series is going to go. And I want to know what you guys thought about, you know, um, Olivia leaking the footage because I, I, I'm proud of her for that. It needed to be leaked. And it pisses me off that Laura would even, like, she could even help out the situation of she knows what's on that footage and she will not give out the footage. I understand it's your job, but like, how could you keep that footage of what those police were doing? How could you just stand by and let that happen? And she was going to Olivia, oh, like, you think there's a moment where I'm not crying and, you know, and sad for Tamika's family and Tamika and what happened to Tamika? I'm like, if you really cared, you're, you would leak, give that footage, just leak it. Or you would not say, I can't have anything to do with this. Or try to help on the right side of the problem instead of helping the police cover that bullshit up. That pissed me off the fucking most. Like, that just topped off me being pissed at Laura. Laura's just been pissing me off lately, guys. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just, that character's been annoying me a little bit. But other than that, guys, it was it was another good great episode of, you know, talking about the actual problems in America. And them talking about Colin Kaepernick and the whole of, like, oh, do you really think, you, uh, Billy, you really think the NFL has changed? But, like, look at Colin Kaepernick. You know, he still hasn't, you know, gotten any offers about, you know, playing again in the NFL. They still haven't offered him a spot back. And that's true. Colin Kaepernick was kneeling for the right reason of the, the of, 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 of you know, social justice. He was kneeling for the right reason of, you know, literally, why is he going to why is he going to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance of, you know, freedom? If he, again, black people in America still don't have freedom in a sense. It's true. 
literally. And I'm happy that they were talking about that because it's so fucked that the NFL is still not giving him his spot back at all on any team. I think that's bullshit. That shows that the NFL is super fucked up, literally, that they're, they're not like that. They're still a part of the problem. And the fact that, you know, we watch the NFL, you know, every Friday or whatever, it just makes me, you know, it makes me sad that, you know, it makes me not want to even watch the NFL. The fact of it is, is that, you know, he fought for the right reason. And yet he was the one that, you know, was or wasn't able to play. He was, the, you know, people weren't able to play in games, like got fired, everything. And it, and it just pisses me off. And it pisses me off that people thought, you know, he was disrespectful that he was kneeling for for the way he for what he believed in. I I, I just that pissed me off. That literally. And I, I fought I fought with my friends or my so called friends when all that shit went down about Colin Kaepernick of how, you know, they were upset that he was kneeling. I'm like, he's kneeling for the right reason. He's kneeling because, you know, the Pledge of Allegiance stands for oh, you know, you have freedom in America. Black people just still don't have freedom in America. It's just modern day slavery, literally, in today's society. I tell my family that all the time, and they agree with me, literally. And I and I have white family members because I'm adopted, and of course, you know, I I have you know I have you know black brothers and sisters, but still, like the fact of it is, is just I don't understand. Like even they agree with me on everything that's going on and everything, and it's just it's crazy to me that people can't grasp how reality is. And people like, and people could say, "Oh, slavery doesn't exist anymore." People could say all this bullshit, even though it's it's, it's or, or racism doesn't exist anymore when it still exists. I don't understand when people can live in a bubble and not see these problems, and how they just, and they just don't care about the problems, and or how people can try to make George Floyd sound like he was on drugs, so it was okay what the police did. Fuck off for all the people that have been saying that bullshit. Literally, your pieces of shit. Literally, I'm just putting that out there. Your pieces of shit. How you guys can do that to a person and make it sound like it was okay what the police did. You're garbage people for that. And there's a problem. You're the problem. How we can't make the world a better and safer place for everybody. You're, you're that problem. Literally. But again, guys, I'm going to end this review here. I can't wait to hear what you guys thought about this episode. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Put those notifications like this video. And, you know, um, and I can't wait to talk to you guys in the comments down below what you guys thought about this episode because this was a very impactful episode. I, 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 I shout out to, you know, CW and the Writers for All American and everything that you guys are talking about these problems because they need to be talked about. Because if we don't talk about it, then there can't be any growth and, you know, our, you know, of change in America. There can't be any of that if we don't talk about the problems. They like to erase our history of everything. And, you know, and that's why we're still stuck in the same situation because we're not talking about the problem. And we're not dealing with the problem. They like to sweep it underneath the rug, but we're not doing that shit anymore. We need to be the ones that stand up for our generation and the next generation. I'm fighting for me and everybody else. And I'm fighting for my little brother and sisters, my brothers and sisters, literally my little brother and my little sister, you know, Mark and Mia. And I'm fighting for my, my two year old brother, Mason. I'm fighting for them and me and everybody else. We're, these like that's why I'm a voice on this platform is to fight for everybody and to make a change and to make sure people you know you know follow their dreams and you know and you know and spread motivation to you know people I want to spread motivate motivation and you know give it my all and you know that's pretty much what my channel is about is to spread love positivity and motivation because I want people to follow their dreams because you were you were here put on earth for a reason you're a special person that you need to achieve your dreams and go for your dreams and not you know let people contain you in the way the system sets you up of like, oh, you have to do this, you have to do that. No, break the barrier of the system and go achieve greatness. That's what I decided to do. And that's what I'm doing. And I want you guys to achieve greatness too. So I'd love it if you guys join this community slash family on my channel. So hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like this video and join the family on this channel. You know, join, come on this journey with me while I'm following my dreams and follow your dreams. And, you know, let's just have a great time and let's just talk about the things we love and let's just achieve greatness together. But without further ado, I'm going to end this video here. I hope everybody has a great day, a safe day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.